Welcome to your Retirement Solution Podcast. Imagine the value in knowing exactly what day you could retire and have the income you wanted for the rest of your life. Listen on to explore the strategies that are designed to set you on track to living your happily ever after in retirement. Now, on to the show. Hello and welcome to another podcast. Today, we are going to find out what's going on in the world of the retirement solution. And what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of times we're talking at a very, very high level on these podcasts about philosophy and Jim Black talks about, you know, kind of some of the biggest issues that he's seeing in the world right now. But we have Tyler Lively on right now. And what Tyler's going to talk about is what he's seeing on the ground. He meets with clients all the time. And when he meets with clients, they have very common and then also some very specific issues. So I thought it'd be fun today to pick his brain and find out what the retirement solutions clients are are talking about and asking him for questions. So Tyler, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me on. All right, man. I'm sure that there has to be some sort of common theme of some things that you're hearing right now. What, what are we hearing from our clients? The biggest common theme is really the concern about when they can retire. Um, I'm helping several clients answer that question because there's a lot of concerns that get to the, that you have to answer before you can get to the point that they say, you know what, I am ready to walk away from my job. I'm ready to enter one of the biggest and hopefully happiest moments or uh, decades of my life. You know, some of those concerns that I've really been diving into a lot, especially I just had a, a meeting today, was regarding long term care. So, how to pay for healthcare costs, how to pay for or ways to pay for long term care costs. And uh, on the flip side, I'm also working with several clients who are prior to Medicare age and they want to retire in their, you know, mid 50s, late 50s. So that's another big conversation. It's an entire meeting in itself, usually talking about where's the income going to come from so that they can cover themselves just for health care, not for long term care, just for health care. Does that make sense? It, it does. It, one of the things that I think is so fascinating about your planning process is you're not just dealing with the math aspect of it, but you're also dealing with the emotional aspect of it. When you say, can I retire? Well, uh, Jim has said on the podcast before that he's shown people on paper, you're good, you're ready to go, but they're not mentally here. How do you help people bridge that gap, Tyler? How do you make it so that they they are they can actually take the last paycheck that they're ever going to take? It is just like Jim says. It's a fantastic experience when you when you help someone bridge that gap, and it does take time. Some people get it instantly. They, they see the numbers and they say, oh, if I put, you know, this much in principal guarantee, this much at risk, I'm going to be covered. I'm going to be OK. And they're ready to retire. Others, it takes time. And that's why, you know, the planning process is usually several meetings to because most of the time, especially in a first meeting with someone, they say, you know, my biggest concern is when I can retire. And then as you peel back the onion, so to speak, and talking about the concerns, that really wasn't their biggest concern. It was, I want my wife to be okay if I die tomorrow, or I want, you know, healthcare costs. How are we going to pay for those? Or, you know, I have a special needs child. What happens if something goes wrong there? That you have to, you have to get several meetings into the point where we've built trust, we've built the relationship, and they they say through the, the, you know, as you said, it's an emotional process. Retirement is 30 to 40 years. I want to put in the time to make sure that all of my clients' concerns are answered, whether it be, you know, just retiring or everything else on the book, everything else that's written on their hearts, essentially. And it's, if we can help strategize, and again, my goal is to always provide options. There's at least two to three options and on how to solve any concern. So we talk about the different options and then we walk through which one they want to choose and because so they can see and begin to feel what that's like. So for example, I was just meeting with a client who has a, I would consider a major concern for his sister. It's his older sister and uh, she's she's gone along with some rough things in her life. And he currently helps her out with income every month out of his paycheck or out of his, you know, out of his paycheck and assets. 
And uh, he said, Tyler, you know, this plan can't be completed if we haven't planned on what I can do to help my sister. And so we went through various options. You know, do you want to set aside, you know, a percentage of your assets if you pass away? Do you want to continue to provide income while, while you're retired? Do you want life insurance? You know, I don't know what the, the best answer is for you, but there's options. I'm looking for the point to where you say, this is what I want to do because I know my sister will be okay. That makes sense? It, it does. And, and what a fascinating level of depth. And we haven't really talked on this podcast yet about your training and your technique to have people feel comfortable peeling back that onion. How, how do you do that, man? I mean, how do you guys build trust in a way that allows them to literally have you manage their life savings? It all comes down to, and I think I've always had part of this person or part of it as, a, as my personality, but the second part is watching Jim because if you ever meet Jim in person, he is automatically and instantly intrigued about anything you have to say. And I'm like, and, and that's what I try to do as well, because every single person who walks in my door has a different story. So if I can ask questions and see what their story is, it's always new. The puzzle is always different. So I try to be automatically and instantly intrigued with anyone who walks in my door because I know that I have the tools to help them if I can get to the point where they want my help. And hopefully they can see that, again, I just generally, genuinely care about them and I want to help because I know that I can I love that. Intention is so powerful, and I don't think people truly understand that there is such a difference with the retirement solution and your planning process and your training. The firm doesn't hire somebody unless they have that natural personal curiosity, right? I've interviewed almost everybody on your team now, and and that's something that I think is a very common cultural thread. But that's not normal. Within financial services, Tyler, as you know, you know, somebody comes in and sit down and they want to have a transactional relationship. They want to sell you something and move on to the next person. And you guys are literally the like the antithesis of that. Let's talk about that a little bit, please. Yeah. And that I think it comes from, again, Jim's vision of the company. Like it says on my wall, I don't know if you can see it, but our goal is to be the last advisor our clients ever need. And to make sure that they worry less about their money and worry more about how they're going to enjoy retirement. And the best way that we have been able to, fa- to find to help our clients is to set up not a transactional relationship, but almost a, a family relationship. We genuinely care about our clients. We want to be there for them in their highest points and in their lowest points. It's, it's difficult in our firm because... We work with people in retirement and death is something that happens quite frequently with our clients. And it's devastating when the news goes around the office, it hurts. And that's where I think I, I, I know we're doing our job right when it does hurt, when we, we, oh, you know, I won't say any names, but when, when we, when we see their face in our minds, when we feel the conversations that we've had, when we remember those things, it's when I know that we're not a transactional relationship but a, uh, a trusted relationship. I want to rewind because you brought up something that was fascinating, uh, which are the people who want to retire early, who are concerned about health care costs. Now, this is a huge pervasive issue across uh, all financial services because long term care and health care costs are are very, very expensive. I mean, mm-hmm. you talk about having different options. So we, we don't need to dive deeply into those options. But how how often are you able to find a reasonable solution for your clients? It comes down to entirely, we actually build it into the plan and we try to be, we try to overestimate healthcare costs, especially when it comes to healthcare premiums and deductibles that they need to hit. So one is we make sure they always have enough emergency cash, one for just their normal income, And then we bump up emergency cash so they at least have, you know, hopefully one or two years, depending on the client, deductibles ready to go. 
then we build a specific uh, column into the plan. That's what I do with with my plans is so they can see, you know, these Medicare or sorry, Medicare or healthcare premiums are, are going to be paid out each month as a part of their income so they can see it and know that they don't have to worry about it. And that gauges, I mean, it's part of the question of can you retire, you know, at this date or do we need to work maybe one more year to make sure healthcare isn't an issue when it comes to income? Does that make sense? A- a- ab- absolutely. And if your financial services professional isn't creating columns like that, if your financial services professional isn't having that conversation with you, it is the number one concern. It's the number that because everybody knows healthcare costs don't seem to be going down and they only get more expensive as as you get older. But that also leads us to another more difficult conversation that I know, Tyler, you have a lot and you hinted to it just a few minutes ago when the whole office mourns when somebody passes. Having that insurance, life insurance, heirs conversation, can you walk us through just a little bit about your guys' technique on opening up that conversation and where you guys see from a financial planning standpoint that that fits in? Wonderful. Well, first, it starts in the planning process, to tell you the truth, because as a part of anyone's retirement income plan, we have a conversation about survivor's income. So what happens if, you know, Tom were to pass away, Karen, today? Would you be available or sorry, would you be uh, financially okay? Obviously, you're going to be emotionally devastated. It's going to be one of the hardest things that ever happens to you. But financially, are are you going to be okay? And we walk through each of their income sources. You know, if you if you have a pension, is there any survivorship option? Social Security, this is how that works. You know, you'll get the, the higher of the two benefits. Your assets, are, are you going to lose any of those assets when the husband or husband or wife passes away? What's that going to look like? So we have that conversation before the event so that it's it's an objective conversation. We want to make sure that they're comfortable beforehand. When a spouse passes away, automatically, immediately what we do is, one, we send our condolences, but two, we want to meet with them. We want to, to help walk through and, and just be a shoulder to, to lean on, but walk through the changes because there are a lot of changes that happens when a spouse passes away, um, including finances. You know, the probate process starts, uh, accounts need to be transferred, beneficiaries need to be taken care of. And we assist our clients through that process so that they know, one, they've got a team in their corner, and two, we can direct them and help them any way that we can so that it's as smooth as possible, I guess. It's it's never smooth, but um, smooth as possible. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely definitely never as smooth as anybody wants it to be. But it's interesting that that's built into the income aspect because... Uh, income is such an important thing. Jim talks about that all the time on the on the podcast, making sure that you have the income that you want, you know, for the, really the rest of your retirement. But that is there's a secondary level with that, which is, is your spouse significant other also going to be able to have the income needed in order for them to successfully maintain their quality of life throughout. All right. What else are you hearing, brother? What else are you hearing from your clients right now? Uh, think back on a couple of meetings and see if there's anything else that uh, we should bring up to our listeners today. What's been a recent kind of common thread, too, is I'm helping a few clients working through the sale of their business. They've both been business owners for several years. I have one who's been a business owner for 30 plus years, loves it, but wants to begin talking about the separation and how that's going to look. So it's been really fun to strategize, you know, is it going to be an internal employee that he sells to? Is he going to you know, open it up for, for offers? What's the the ways to do that? How does it fit into the overall income planning? And uh, so that's been really, really fun. That's been a common thread. What else has been really fun recently? Actually, hold on, Tyler. I want to touch on that because a lot of business owners have their identities wrapped up in their business. What, What sort of conversations have you had to try to have them detach themselves from being known as the HVAC guy, right? Uh, help, help us with that. And, and you bring up a good point. It's, it's a lot of conversations. It's not just one. Because you're right. Identity is everything, especially when you're a business owner. It works with, to talk about 
kind of the, I like to call it feature pacing. But once you do, you know, sell this company to, you know, your XYZ employee or to offers, what will you be able to do after that? Instead of doing invoices, you know, every single day for four hours, instead of doing, you know, training, instead of hiring and firing, what are those, some of those things that you look forward to? Um, is it traveling? Is it going with your you know, spouse or significant other places? Is it you just want to walk the dog every day for four hours? You know, I don't, I don't know what the answer is, but I'd like to have that conversation talking about what's the potential, what's the possibility once you sell this company, because you've done a great job in building and keeping a company for so long. Leave your legacy in it. You know, make sure someone does take that legacy forward, but also allow yourself to feel the reward of your hard work. That's awesome. Personally, walking my dog for four hours, I could really put that on my list of things to do. That would make me quite happy. All right. So as we wrap up today's podcast, any sort of words of wisdom, any, any other thing that has come up that you're like, man, I think that it'd be good for our listeners to hear that. I think the biggest thing to talk about, and well, I guess this is for, for any of our clients or anyone listening is if you have a concern, just to voice it, you don't have to sit and, and, uh, and, and worry. I, I had a client who walked in, this was a year ago or more than a year ago. And she just simply had questions regarding her 401k. And I said, all right, let's see what we can do. And we called the 401k company together because it was going to be a part of a big part of her income plan. And uh, the simple act of calling together and asking a few questions that she had never thought of, she had this worry, but she never thought of the questions or how to ask them together. We were able to do it. And she was like, I've had this worry for 20 years in my 401k, I didn't know that I could ask that question and get the answer. And she was like, this huge weight has just, you know, gone away. I know, I know what the options are and I know it's going to fit in my plan. And it was just a simple phone call. It was just a simple conversation we had that I was able to help. So any concerns that you have, don't, uh, don't let them fester. Just ask the question because our goal, Jim says this a lot and I love it. You don't have to be the library, just be the librarian. So my goal is if I know the answer, I'll help. If I don't know the answer, I will find someone who does so that we can get your concerns resolved. Oh, I don't think there's a better place to end the podcast. Tyler, that was awesome, man. Thank you very much for, you know, kind of keeping us up to date on what's going on at the Retirement Solution and what you're hearing from clients. You know, whether it is from a, a business owner, whether it's talking about long-term care, whether it's talking about survivor benefits, whether it's talking about, uh, you know, trust set in place for uh, special needs uh, or the sale of a business, uh, any of those things. Remember, it only is going to get solved if you ask the questions, even if you don't know all of the questions to ask, having a good conversation with somebody who's truly in your corner and is interested in making sure that you can have the retirement you've always dreamed is really what the retirement solution is about. So, man, Tyler, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you. It's been wonderful. If you have not subscribed to the podcast, make sure you click that subscribe now button below. That way, every time somebody comes out with new podcasts at The Retirement Solution, it'll show up directly on your listening device. So for everybody at TRS, this is Matt Hallern, and we'll see you on the other side of the mic very soon. The Retirement Solution Incorporated is an independent financial services firm that helps people create retirement strategies designed to endure the changing market and increase their odds of success in retirement. Consultation with a financial planner helps to determine which strategies may be appropriate for you.